All right, baby, tell us where we're at. The airport. We completed 22.3. You did. I did. She didn't do it. <laughs> we finished. Right? 9.13. Hey. I didn't go on broken. Not broken. <laughs> but yeah, we're here waiting. It is hot. Bro, I'm sweating. Plus, you ate spicy food, so that doesn't help. That doesn't. Yeah, I had a booger. You're okay. nasty. <laughs> but yeah, Puerto Rico, here we come. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? I am back to Florida and in today's video we're going to be talking about resetting. After the open of 22.3, I decided to take a trip on to Puerto Rico. We already had this plan, we really wanted to have a good time. I didn't do as good as I wanted to because the goal was to basically beat Cody for Logan. That didn't happen so that's and, and that's okay. Honestly, Cody has been working really hard, so congratulations to you, dude. And then keep doing what you're doing, dude, because you're killing it right now. I also want to congratulate all the freaking comp athletes and anyone else who qualified to quarterfinals. You guys deserve it. If you guys have been putting in the work, you guys deserve to be there, and you guys will keep on grinding, and I'll be there to cheer you guys on. How to reset yourself. So now that I am now in a position where um, back from Puerto Rico, we had such a blast, all right? Let me just put that out there. But we went to El Yunque and then we went to Arecibo. Those two rainforests was absolutely amazing. Something that I definitely recommend you guys to do. In order for you guys to reset yourself, what I mean by that is, yes, you wanna get out of your comfort zone to go somewhere else and enjoy life a little bit. I've been putting in work with the videography for the past five, six months, and so like I thought that it would be a great idea to go and do something. Do things that you enjoy, right? So that doesn't mean that you need to do the exact same thing that I do. You guys should be doing things that you feel that is brings joy to your life. So for me, it was taking a break. I haven't even gone and work out for a whole week. Next week, this Monday coming up, I'm going to be going back with Coach Storm, and we're gonna be working on this race that it's gonna be for adaptive scuba diving. For that, we're gonna be working really hard for the next month, I'm going to ride a hundred mile bike ride. The goal is to do it. All I need is a bike. If there's anyone in the community who has a bike that will be more than happy to lend it to me so I can start practicing for this whole month, I would absolutely appreciate it. But if not, then hopefully Storm can help me out with that. Michael Kaufman, he's gonna be coming and explaining why you should be doing the scuba diving program or even know about it or even working towards um, the bike ride. You, There is, from my understanding, there is a 25 to 50 up to 100 miles so you don't have to do the completely 100 mile but you guys know me i like to go all out and if i even if i failed into my attempt and that's one of the you know pros and cons of being the way i am you want to strive for something that maybe is not unattainable but then again at least i try and that's something that i'm trying to get you guys to really uh, explore more often so that you guys can control your fear you know if you fail that's okay because in order to succeed you need to fail now that I'm ready to achieve my next goal it's time to put in the work it's time to grind and so if you guys are following me in this journey I really appreciate you guys I'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to like subscribe three two one And then there's this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> there you go. Yeah. 22.3 was an absolutely amazing event. I want to thank everybody who came out, did the workout, hanged out with us, had a good time, had a blast, celebrate with us and the whole crew. And you know, I'm speaking for all the coaches and everyone in freaking fitness. So thank you all. 